Hi, welcome to Lesson 7, where we can finally start to talk about the most important part of a website, your content. I've broken this into two parts. This first part is about the Joomla storage system, and in the next lesson I'll talk about the actual articles. Storing Joomla content is similar to a filing cabinet. Let's say you had a two-drawer letter file. One drawer might be for customers, and the second drawer for suppliers. Inside your customer's drawer would be a folder for each customer. And within an individual folder would be documents relating to that customer. Joomla uses a similar hierarchy for storing your articles. The first level is called sections. These are like the drawers of a filing cabinet. The second level is called categories. These are like the folders inside a drawer. And then the documents are simply called articles. So when you write an article, you assign it to a category, which in turn belongs to a section. For example, you might have an article titled How to Fly a Plane, which you store inside a category called Aircraft Training. There may be several articles stored in this aircraft training category. The aircraft training category lives inside a section called aviation. And again, there may be several categories, as many as you like, that are stored inside this section. Another way to remember this system is with the acronym SCAM. S is for section. C is for category. A is for article. And M is for menu. To get an article displayed on your site, you firstly need a section, and then a category, and then the actual article. Lastly, you need a menu item pointing to the article, or series of articles, and this last step is demonstrated in Lesson 8. Let's now take a look at how to manage sections and categories in Administrator. Log into the Joomla Administrator and click the Section Manager button that appears on the Control Panel page. You'll notice that our default Joomla installation, with the sample data, already has three sections. To create a new section, click the New button towards the top right of the page. And a new page will appear. All you need to do to create a section is give it a name in the title box. In this case, I'll call it Aviation. The alias box is mainly useful when used in conjunction with a search engine friendly feature that I'll not discuss in this introductory training series. However, it's helpful to get into the habit of entering this now, so just use the same word as the title in lower case. Don't bother with any of the other options and click Save in the top right. You're now returned to the Section Manager page. If you ever wish to edit a section, simply click its title. This page will display and you can make any changes and save. Before I return, I need to point out an important aspect of Joomla. As more than one person can be updating your site at the same time, Joomla uses a checkout feature. When you open something, it becomes locked, preventing someone else from opening it. When you save the item, it becomes unlocked again. This works really well, but there is a potential trap. If you open something and then use the back button in your browser, Joomla doesn't know that you've finished with the item and it remains locked. To prevent this, never use the back button in the Joomla administrator. Always choose Save, or if you don't want to save, choose Close. I'll close this one for now. If you ever make this mistake, you can fix it by using Tools, Global Check-in. Now, let's take a look at the next level, Categories. Go to Content, Category Manager. Once again, you can see that the sample data includes a bunch of categories, and there's an additional column showing you which section they belong to. Create a new category using the New button. 
give it a title again. And an alias. When I have to use a multi-word title, I'll use a hyphen between them in the alias. One last step with categories is to assign them to the appropriate section. Click in the section box and make your selection, in my case, Aviation. Leave everything else and click Save. If you look through the Category Manager list, you'll see the new category listed. You now have an understanding how the Joomla storage system works and how to create sections and categories. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to create a basic article. To help you understand this concept even more clearly, I have created a series of walkthrough video tutorials that show you how to create a working Joomla website from scratch. You get these bonus lessons when you upgrade your membership. Simply click on the link below to learn more about this package.